Hi guys, this is Lemmy and French Draw, and today I'm just going to be just relatively short because I really don't have anything to talk about. Um, first of all, I want to thank all of the, the people that have watched my videos on YouTube, and um, Michelle, can this thing actually check my status report on this thing? Yeah, if you... Um, well, I think they're logging as you. Uh, I don't want to mess with that. I don't like Michelle. I don't I like the Blackberry that much, but that's Michelle, and she has her own things. So I do my own things. So today, of course, we know that the last few videos I've done, we've talked about gender and sex, and, um, and that was really, really amazing, the amount of... Uh, viewership we've had in the last few videos. I'm really impressed. Um, of course, I haven't seen my subscriber base go up. I got a couple compliments um, from some people. Um, one guy said to me that he thought I was really attractive, and of course, I found that really nice. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate that. And of course, you know. Um, I know you've been hearing Michelle hammer and hammer about the budget, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm finding it a little annoying myself because it's like, don't you think your audience knows enough that you're financially running into a brick wall? Do you really have to keep hammering it every single day? One day, what's going to happen is Michelle's 149 viewers are going to go, <laughs> I hope. That doesn't happen, but, you know, it could happen because, let's be honest, you guys are not only been listening to it for weeks of, actually, you've been listening to it for months. And um, I wanted to explain that while I don't agree with Michelle on a lot of stuff, um, I I do believe that Michelle has, has been given a pretty rough hand in the last few years and um and her her complaint her request is legitimate so that's all I'm going to say is her request is legitimate and I'm not going to have a problem with that um in the next few months we will be beginning to get the multimedia study up um and um we are, I'd like to get some um, pre-printed backgrounds because the, the chroma key last time we did it looked terrible. Um, I don't know why chroma key doesn't always work out for us. Um, we've tried it in it. For some reason it looks so fake. Um, don't know why. Just it is something in Final Cut Express version 4's algorithm, or maybe we're doing it wrong, I don't know. But, um, you know, it's it's technology, and technology is more Michelle thing. I know that she worked hard to fix that problem, and had that's one of the reasons why she kind of threw her hands in the air with the green screen technology is because she couldn't get work right. In some small static images, Michelle has been able to superimpose things together on the green screen material and it looks good, but in other things, it just didn't look good. Um, Chrome Key is a keying system. Using a key color as background it could be red, green, blue, <laughs> Why well, you can even use combinations of colors, purple, orange, anything that is not a color that your subject is wearing. And if you can combine the chroma key with lumi key together to give fine tuning on the brightness, color, hue, saturation, everything, it can be really um, wonderful to color it in. The reason why they chose the colors they choose is that extreme green, extreme red, extreme blue is that in nature those colors are not commonly used in most um, everyday uses. 
So, um, blue screen is, is they say it's good for outdoors, and green screen is good for indoors. I don't know if that's necessarily the case, but I know Michelle wants to get some printed backgrounds. So, but I don't need to tell you that's going to take some money. Okay, just leave it at that. I'm not going to go into details. Um, now, for my channel, we need to discuss um, ideas for topics. Because, you know, I really don't have any more ideas. I'm kind of burnt out of them. I want to really cover new material. But sometimes, you know, if someone has a suggestion, I would love to um, make it happen. So I know you guys are pretty smart. I know that the 27 viewers I have, you guys are um, more than capable of um, coming up with suggestions. Um, maybe we can, you know, let me know what you think we should talk about. Well, I mean, I'm open. My mind's open. I'll talk, I'll talk about almost anything. Um, and I guess that's about it for now, really. Um, other than, of course, you know, I need your ideas, suggestions. Um, if you want the channel to cover certain things, if you think the channel, you know, needs to have a different type of agenda or something. You know, I'm open-minded. I'll, I'll read most of your comments. And, of course, if I do not get to you right away, it's possibly because of one of two reasons. One, your content is going to take me time to research. Two, you are, especially if it's a hateful comment, have said something... That doesn't deserve a response. Now, I hope I'm not going to hear too many of those. But if I do, you know, um, you're not going to get a comment from me. I'm not going to. It's just like I said last time. I mean, if you got a legitimate idea, I mean, we'll listen to it. We'll try to look into it. But if it's if you're just trying to be a troll, um, no, no, I'm not going near. <laughs> um. So what would I like this channel to really do? Well, <clears throat> I really like to sponsor, I'd like to really cover this channel to cover spirituality and faith systems and the way the two, uh, the spiritual realm and the physical realm interact. That's what I'd like to cover. And I'd like to talk about the other side. I'd like to talk about Mother Asna. I'd like to talk about... Um, things like that. Michelle, however, tends to focus more on the day-to-day -day things. And, uh, unfortunately, I think she's bored her audience enough with what she's been hammering in your ears for almost the last ten months. And I'd like to see Michelle get into doing other things with her channel. But that's her channel. You know, Michelle was doing for a while. She was doing unboxings. She was doing demos. She was doing... And then... They kind of... I mean, her finances took a nosedive. And then... Um, now she has to sit there and do those... Pledge breaks and other stuff. And it's really taking its toll on Michelle. Because I know Michelle really rather show you things and you know experiment with new technology and um so yeah you know if you want to hear about what the financial issues are the nitty-gritty just go to her channel um i don't really want to cover it here because first of all it's it's just so depressing um now one thing I want to make sure we understand is when we talk about spirituality concerns, you might wonder is, and I will bring this up as a potential, to, as a topic for right now, and we can go on and work on it more detailed later on, is the radicalism, radicalized Islam, is this really what it says in the Quran to do? Does this to be such a nasty group of people practicing Sharia law to cause harm and hurt to other people. From what I understand about Muhammad, when he was 
instructed in his faith system. He was the idea was to bring all of Arabia under, you know, into a peaceful thing because of all the different warring kingdoms. So that doesn't sound like um, Muhammad would be very enthousi enthusiastic about what's going on. But what about Judaism? What about the Abrahamic faith, which apparently Islam is part of? Is Judaism necessarily a peaceful religion in the Old Testament, especially? I mean, that's a great question because we know that what contemporary Israel is doing with Benjamin Netanyahu, we know, you know, that he's not at peace with Islam. I mean, with Palestine, he's certainly not working with them. He's not working with the Syrians. He's um, kind of just becoming a thorn in everybody's side. Um, but then when we look back at the history in the Old Testament, we see Israel has been a thorn. Uh, even in the ancient Middle East side for years, or for centuries. So the question is, is who's really better one? Is, it, is us pagans better than both? Or are pagans also known to be a thorn in people's side. Um, we don't really hear too much about the pagans anymore. I mean, I don't really hear of too many, for example, neo-pagans saying is that we need to do death to infidels and beheadings and stonings and all that. So where do we stand? Are we the more quiet of the three subgroups or are we a royal you know, or are we just deluding ourselves? And then, of course, we have a group that is not pagan in any way, which is the Satanists. Um, there's several divisions of Satanists. And um, unfortunately, even they are not necessarily making trouble for other religions. They're just doing their own thing and, and focusing on um, their practices. So... Where do we stand? I mean, it seems like the Satanists and most of the neo-pagans may be a Gnostic or a uh, Wiccan or Sorceress. Is that we're not trying to get in the middle between the issue, issue of Islam and Judaism. We just kind of want to stay um, on the um, sidelines. Kind of be like independent and not pick sides. So which way is it? I don't know. What's your opinion on that? I mean, uh, this is the kind of stuff I want to cover. So if you have comments, let's talk about it. And um, maybe we can have a dialogue and, and work on more ways to reach out to you to help you to, you know, and help each other. Not might just you, but help each other to understand more of the world around us and how it all interacts and, um, you know, just like, uh, you know, Lieutenant Uhura used to say to Captain Kirk, oh, hailing frequencies are open, Captain. You can suddenly leave a message here on YouTube. And, and when Michelle posts our my linked videos on her Facebook, um, you can post a message on Facebook, although it takes a while to get to me. So, um, but me and Michelle do look at them together sometimes. Um, she doesn't have the answer. And since, obviously, it was posted on her, by her on her Facebook and her Twitter, um, it gets a little confusing. So, really, ideally, if you want to reach me, the best place is Google Plus or right here on YouTube because that's where you can be sure that I'll get it directly and uh, we can focus on it that way. Okay, guys, listen, it's late. Michelle and I had been working um, very much trying to get her video out. And um, we did an experiment tonight um, that was kind of interesting. Um, I'm not going to go into all the nitty-gritty details, but let's just say this. Normally, Michelle and I shoot the camera like this. And then sometimes we use a wide-angle lens. And the wide angle lens we have is for a security camera, so it's wide angle. Even it, it's a viral focal, and even in its 
closest setting, it's still pretty wide out. It's 12 millimeters, okay? This is 25 millimeters, okay? So what happens is, is there's a lot of video for the camera to shoot. And so the camera was properly focused and the show's pretty good, pretty good about that because her right eye seems to be beginning to see recovery. Um, seems like she's starting to get more details back with her right eye, but it's really hard to say. It's far from anywhere near her left eye is. But uh, it seems like she's been able to nail the frequency. I'm focusing on the camera much better now um, than ever before. And that puts a lot of strain on the computer because now the computer's got all these high, high quality, high resolution bits in. And it has to work extra harder to encode it. So the videos that we just uploaded her channel. First, she was trying to upload the video in ultra high resolution. We really, really pushed the computer to the knees. Oh, I mean, for impact, we were getting like 25 megabits per second resolution at 80%. And it was like, last time Michelle did that for my video, it came out to be so high that um, it, it took like 25, what was it, like 25 gigabytes? About that. <laughs> 25 gigabytes um, to do a video. Um, a six, a standard definition PAL, 25 frames per second. That's 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 intense. Um, and that was going to happen again. Michelle said, "No, no, we're not going there." And he was just he said, back to standard 50% compression, and it still came out to be about 3.1 gigabytes in size. Huge, huge, huge picture. Really big. Um, but it looked pretty good overall. So I was pretty happy with it. Um, but no matter what, I hope to get more subscribers on my channel. And I think Michelle would like to see my channel grow as well. So, you know, it really could use your help. We really could use your help by subscribing. And if you find, like I said, comments are always welcome. So those two things will help my channel go from some niche backwater channel to something that's going to be uh, more likely on the forefront. Okay? For now, talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.